my role at Dickot Town is first team manager. Um, and my name is Jamie Heapy. Some great times here. Great times. Won a lot of things. Was lucky enough to be captain. Um, promotions, cup finals. You know, it's been brilliant. Played with some fantastic players along the way. Great friends as well now. Um, and it's just a big, yes, yeah, a big achievement. I get. I was lucky. Didn't have many injuries. Um, but now as a manager, I want my players to experience that. What I've experienced. Yeah, you know, it's. I'm not saying I played at the best level ever, but I wouldn't change what I did. I, I, I won a lot of trophies, like I said, I won a, got promotions, won playoffs, FA Vars. So I wouldn't change anything, but I want my players to experience some of what I've experienced and enjoy what I've enjoyed, really. So, yeah. Yeah, tough time, you know, tough, tough, tough times. But you don't, um, it puts life in perspective, to be honest, but things in perspective, generally. Um, you have a lot of time to think about things, but yeah, I was just, I was lucky in a way, it happened so quickly, you know, I, I, I ruptured my spleen and then obviously they found some, the biopsy and things, they found some cancerous cells in there which weren't great, so they had to do, um, get me on the chemo and on tablets pretty quickly and get me into hospital pretty quickly. So um, very grateful for everyone, obviously. I was at Worcester Royal Hospital, so um, yeah. They looked after me brilliantly, got me back together and you just do what you do, you know what I mean? You have to, I got, the football mentality came in, to be honest, you know. Just, you either have two choices, you have two choices, don't you? You give up or you fight, and I just fight. That's simple. And, you do and you just knuckle down you give I was lucky enough it, it affected me at a young age so um, or youngest age and uh, I just wanted the doctor just to give me everything he could to get me right however ill it made me however you know I wasn't bothered about losing the air or anything like that I just wanted to get get better for the kids for my wife for my family for the football club for my friends for my loved one you know everyone really that supported me through that time and just, yeah, you just get through it, don't you? You have to, what do you do? You can't give up, so. Yeah, I was, uh, it was it's horrendous at times, but it seems a dream now, to what, a nightmare now. It don't, don't seem real, but obviously it did happen, so. Um, but no, I'm grateful to be here, and, you know, live, live every day as if, it's, as if it's your last, I suppose, so that's what we're doing. So, yeah, not good, but I'm all right now, so we kick on, don't we? As a club, as a community, we just have to keep keep fighting, keep being together, keep pushing each other on and off the pitch. You know, we've got a lot of things going on behind the scenes that we're trying to get, trying to make happen, ready for next year and the future of the club. And we've got to make sure, like the youth and the infrastructure is all there, which it is, and they keep driving us forward. And all the people on the committee from the youth team are driving everyone forward and the club behind the scenes, the chairman, the vice chairman, everyone. Um, we just need to be pulling in the right direction and keep keep chugging along, keep pulling along and, you know, we'll be all right. It's going to take time, we know that, but we've got to just keep, keep pushing each other and keep making things, um, keep having that belief, having that, that goal. You know, if we get 3G on here, great. If we get it over there, great. Whatever it may be, but we just need to keep moving along with the times and and getting everyone together and keep pulling each other along. We're all pushing in the right direction. And for me, that's massive. <laughs>